Hello everyone, welcome back to The Hunter Calls of the Wild. Uh, I was muted there for a little longer than I intended to be, uh, which does happen from time to time. Uh, we have recently been on tour. Uh, you can see in the background the uh, slopes of New Zealand. We also went to Vahonga. Uh, we aren't going to either of those places just yet today. Well, okay, actually, we're going to drop into this for just long enough so that I can look around. Say hi, this is Teo Aurora. Which I can't pronounce. Uh, and I'm going to jump in because uh, this week Steam has some midweek madness on for Call of the Wild. Um, so I thought I would jump in and I would grab myself a new Hunting Lodge DLC and a bunch of other DLCs which we'll be coming to. Um, but I've been, for a while, I've, I've not had that many great trophies out of Hirschfelden. Uh, I thought now that. I've got the Spring Creek Manor. Let's make a dedicated Hirschfelden Lodge uh, to display all three trophies that I've ever kept from Old Hirsch. We have uh, why you're a piebald bison, uh, and then we have two diamond red deers. I find it vaguely surprising that the only diamonds I've ever found have both happened to have been red deer. But, uh, you know, why not? Uh, I've also set up a bunch of other um, hunting lodges, but they don't have any particularly great trophies in them. Uh, but I've not... I, I've never seen the inside of a, a Spring Creek Manor hunting lodge before. Uh, and I've never quite fully explored the Sasika Safari Lodge either. It's a... They're very odd places. The Sasika Safari one is even more odd because there's a huge amount of space in that lodge that has uh You'll have to wait while I catch up while my brain catches up to where my mouth was. It has a huge amount of um space that isn't for anything. <laughs> like it it's got a, a a big swimming pool and outdoor area. Oh my goodness gracious me. Uh, thank you very much, Ye Haircut 24 for the follow. Thank you uh, for being here. Uh, I hope you enjoy the stream. We have a first time chat as well. Hello. Hi there, how are you doing? Um, oh my gosh, my stream quality is just tanked because I had to actually open OBS to see who you are. <laughs> um, I hope you're having a wonderful day. We were just about to jump into uh, Hirschfelden. Uh, I was just showing off. Look, I've got a new hunting lodge before then. Yep, you're new to the game, no one will teach me how to play, so you're watching. That's uh, fair. I Before I ever got the game, I learnt from watching people stream it. Um, and I think it's... I think it's good to, you know, use... If people are around, I think it's good to, to use this opportunity. Uh, my plan for today's stream... Once we hop into our hut here. Uh, so this is an outpost for, for Yi's sake. Um, you'll find these. These are your fast travel points and your sort of base of operations. So they've got a bed that you can use to skip time in. And they have a big old locker that you can use uh, to summon a quad bike if you want a quad bike. I don't want a quad bike right now. Uh, but you can use them to access new guns and to buy ammo uh, for your guns. As well as all the many, many, many other things um, that are along here. Uh, today, I'm going to go... So I recently picked up, in this Midweek Madness, uh, which is on right now, I picked up a bunch of guns. Let's see if I can find any of them in the list. Okay, so the first one was the uh, Hudzik .50 Caplock. Uh, so this is a, a, a weird old-timey rifle. Um, a very weird old-timey rifle. But I'm quite interested to... I'm intrigued to see what it's about. Um, if I go into compatible items, I can see the bullets that I can use. One of the things that's weird about it is that it has two ammo types. 
that are for different class ranges, which is uncommon for a rifle. Um, I'm going to buy the scope. Uh, I think we are going to take this gun out for a spin today. So let's buy a whole bunch of ammo for it. Right, this will cover us from 3 to 7 and 4 to 8. Now we are in uh, Hirschfeld, and so one of the things when you're at the start of every session, really what you want to do is you want to fix your kit. You want to make sure you've got a good weapon selection on you for the animals that you're likely to face uh, on a particular day. We're in Hirschfeld, and so we will be facing animals that have classes 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 9. So this is pretty much only going to be useful for the 3, 4, and 6 of those. And given that, I'm tempted to only bring one of these with me, but these have a longer effective range, so I will, I will keep both just in case. Uh, to complement that, I need something that will hit class 9. And I'm probably, so let's go into my storage. Let's take off all the weapons that I've got that I'm carrying. Say goodbye to the .303, even though it is an amazing weapon. Uh, we'll also say goodbye to this. Want those for the musket? Uh, I'm not certain if it is technically a musket. It might be. Uh, Given that it's got little balls in it, actually it might well be a musket. I mean, it's a muzzle loader, so even if it's not a musket exactly, it's going to be not very far off of one. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. If I remember my firearms knowledge correctly, which is not a given, uh, I think it's a musket if it's a smooth bore, and then it's a rifle if it's a. It's a rifle, so it's not a. It's not actually a musket. Um, but it's not going to be much more advanced than the musket. Bop. Okay, we need something to hit the class lines. And if you've seen me recently, you'll know that uh, I really, really adored the King uh, 470DB. So we're going to grab that, as well as the bullets for him. Uh, I need the muzzle loader scope for the possibly musket. And I need this site for the king. And that just leaves us with the need to find something that will target class 1 and 2. Uh, trying to target both class 1 and 2 is a real problem in this game. <laughs> uh, I've got a point two two three dose. Does the point two two three ammo? No, that only hits class two and upwards. Uh, it's probably going to be a choice of a, a bow. I can't have that. That's too heavy. We could grab a. What are you called? We could grab a traditional bow. I've not done a lot of traditional bow hunting recently. Oh, I see. It's because the king is super duper heavy. That's why. Um, or one of the other weapons that I picked up recently. How heavy are you? I could feasibly carry you and the weapon to target class twos, because you're quite light. Um, the gun is so old, they stopped making flintlocks in the 19th century. I don't think it's a flintlock. Um, this is, if, I, if I go have a look at it. Where are you? What's it? Cap lock. Yeah, it's not a flint lock because it's a cap lock. Um, I can't remember exactly what a cap lock does, but it's not a flint lock. Um, sorry, I was looking for the, the one of the other new guns that I think I've picked up recently. It's this boy. The Magnifico. Sorry, Mangiafico. 41045 Colt Flatback. 
which we have in a variety of designs, most of which are quite ugly. So we're going to grab it in black, pick it up for free because it's DLC. So this has bullets for class 2 to 5, and it has like a shotgun-like cartridge for class 1. Uh, so I think that's real interesting. Uh, and this is also new to me, so I'm going to grab you as well. And grab a bunch of ammo for you. Oh, that fox is really calling to me. Um, okay. Fiaco. Uh, where are you? Point forty five Colt and point four one oh birdshot. There we go. Uh, so I think that's a good selection of guns on us. That'll that we've got something for everything here. Now what we need is to make sure we've got the right callers. So we need the boar, we need the deer. We don't need you. Uh, what's the deer that we have on us today? We have roe deer, we have fallow deer, we have red deer. Okay, so we don't need you. We don't need you. You'll call fallow deer to us. Uh, you'll call foxes to us, so we need you. You're a roe deer caller. I think that's everything. Um, theoretically, we could have the goose caller on us, but we're not planning to do gooses today, so I don't. Uh, what am I hunting? The way I typically approach this game is I just sort of wander around and I hunt whatever I see. Uh, it's not the way a lot of people play. A lot of people like, no, I want to go out and I want to specifically hunt, like, a whole bunch of red deer. Or I want to go out and I want to hunt a whole bunch of bison. Uh, the last time I was here in Hirschfelden, I did kind of go out of my way to try and find a bunch of bison, because I was testing out the king for the first time. Um, but normally I just sort of wander around, picking up the missions here and there, shooting whatever comes my way, which is why I like to have a broad selection of weapons. Do, 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 do. You shot what moves? Yep, shoot what moves. Um, I need the handgun scope for my handgun. I think it was that one. Uh, okay, I'm quite happy with, with what we've got on us. Uh, Oh, that's the noise, but it's obviously too far away. It won't let me actually pick it up. Right, once I've grabbed everything I want, you go into your inventory. Will you please shut up? I know you really love me, but I'm not coming yet. I want my interesting cat block on number one. I want the king on five, where it normally lives. Handgun on three. King only uses one type of ammo. Uh, hmm. Let's put on the longer range ammo for now, and then if we see specifically a Rodia, we can change that out on the fly. Uh, and we'll have this on the handgun, so that if we see a Rodia and we're at, we're really hard pressed, we can use that on the Rodia. Yeah, okay, I like that. Uh, binoculars, we have the daytime binoculars, that's fine because it's daytime. Although it won't be if I sit around here <laughs> messing around with my kit the entire time. Fox caller on 7. Row caller on 8. These two are already set up. Magnificent. Okay, kit fixed. So, uh, I need to fix my volume, that's fine. What do we have to do today? So we've got some missions. Uh, we're currently... Uh, so I think this quest is for using a .270 rifle, which we don't have on us. Yeah, so we're not doing that quest today. We can go to Berndorf. Where's Berndorf? Berndorf is up there. We are sort of on that way. This is where we ended up. So you can see on the map, 
the illuminated area and the trail of hunting pressure that we left behind from from uh, last time we were here in Herschel. And we've headed kind of quite towards Bonedorf, so that's probably a good goal to aim for. Uh, we also know that we've got a, a carcass in the Rendelin Gorge that we need to come back to at some point. Okay, yeah, let's head towards Bonedorf. We'll go via the... Uh, it's Dave Constantine. Hi there, Dave. How are you doing? Uh, I feel like it's been a long time to see, but maybe that's every time I see you. Yeah, okay. We'll head via this lake. And then we'll head to the lookout point. And then we'll head to this lookout point. And then we'll see if there's a house around, which will probably be up here, I'm guessing. Okay, that's a good plan for the day. Sorry, you're starting. Oh, there's no need to apologize. Uh, uh, it's just a, a comment that it's nice to see you whenever I do see you. What are you studying at the moment, Dave? Uh, for the benefit of haircut. So you'll see that as soon as I sort of set off, I immediately... Uh, I dropped into a crouch, and I, I tend to go everywhere uh, with the sprint turned on, but in a crouch. I find that's kind of the best mixture of uh, speed. Do you mind? I'm talking. Uh, yeah, I tend to find that a crouch sprint is the best mixture of speed, while uh, if you look down in the bottom left in a second, you'll see there's a volume indicator for how much noise you make. Uh, so a crouch sprint is my optimum balance of uh, not making too much noise to spook all the animals, uh, but also not uh, moving so slowly that you never catch up to them if you're trying to follow them. Uh, Dave's studying to be a social health technician in Spain. Well, there's a social health technician. Uh, or am I am I misemphasizing the social in that name? I should get this out and see what it actually looks like. I'm not equipped to scope. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, scope. Sight for my king. Sight for my handgun. There we go. Oh, it's not my favourite sight in the world, but it's okay. Uh, and then we have handgun scope. Wow, this is a horrible colour mismatch with the rest of the gun, but it's okay. And our boot king sight. People who work in hospitals and nursing homes. Oh, I see. Okay, right. I think I'm with you. Is a silver good? Uh, in terms of the the, the rank of a, a, a kill, I mean, a, a, a silver I would say is firmly in the middle. You know, you've got your the the majority of things that you see are going to be silvers and bronzes. Uh, so you know, silver's not bad. Um, I wouldn't generally write home about a silver unless it also has an unusual fur colour. But I would not be upset by hunting a silver. Uh, for haircuts benefit, one of the things that you'll see is that... Uh, so as I move through the different types of brush, 
this was actually a terrible example because that tree wasn't very noisy. As I move through the different types of brush, generally uh, the level of volume I make will go up and down and it'll normally flicker by about one bar of volume if I'm in trees or noisy grass versus if I'm in like open grass. Um, and you'll also notice that my volume level while crouch sprinting will be a teensy bit lower than yours. That's because I've played a fair bit of the game and so I've got perks that decrease my movement speed. Or they might be skills. The skills, perks, skills. I've got skills that reduce my uh, my movement noise. Okay. Haircut says you don't know you sort move. Oh, you shot it with a shotgun. <laughs> That's fair. When you're getting started, the I just started blasting approach is not a bad. One to take. Dave says, Dizzy, take care, don't shoot the Bigfoot. Is that likely? <laughs> Are there Bigfoots around in Germany? I can't say I've ever heard of a German Bigfoot, but then I've never looked for one. Oh, hello, there's a boy there. Okay, so here we have a roe deer. He is about 76 meters away. I've got rangefinder goggles on. Uh, you may otherwise find it quite difficult. Uh, incidentally, the rangefinder goggles, they are, what are they called? The Apex View. Uh, I'd strongly recommend them as one of the first investments as soon as you can get them. Because they're 70 meters away, I, they're a bit far away from my handgun, so I'm going to switch to the muzzle loader. Right, in terms of where you want to aim, oh, there's a male with horns. Oop. He's two. He's a difficulty level, which you can see on the pop-up, is two, which means that he's not going to be that amazing of a trophy, but he'll be a good start. Where you want to aim, generally, if you're side-on, is you want to aim about for the shoulder, uh, and that typically will get you through to a lung shot. If you can, put it like just behind the shoulder so that you don't hit the bone. Um, that's like your optimal, optimal placement. Normally you don't have quite that much time, but he's quite close. And because this is a muzzle loader, there is exactly zero chance of a follow-up shot to grab one of his friends. But, oh, they're coming right for us. Uh, stay still, stay still. No, they're not going to stay still. The other thing you'll find is that shooting a fast-moving target generally isn't worth it. Because uh, you're just not likely to hit them in any meaningful way. Oh, the reload takes so long. I need to stop doing that. It's twice I've tried to reload this and failed. Boop. Uh, yeah, so this boy's a silver. As you can see, place it just behind the shoulder, so you miss the bone, you'll hit a lung. When, you start, when you're starting out, you really want to be aiming for lung shots as your first port of call. Once you're a bit more experienced, if you're front on, by all means aim for the heart. Uh, but you'll generally find that the heart is not quite where you're ever expecting it to be. Or at least that's what I find. Uh, you are actually coming back. You will find sometimes the animals are a bit thick and they do come back to a place where you've just shot someone. So, uh, hang on, can I see what fur colour you are? No. He's gone behind a rock. Your friend has not. Oh, you've got another friend there. Who's your other friend? Oh, there's actually flipping loads of you. Okay, well. It's a bad day. Nope. Okay. 
This is the longest reload animation. I know that's sort of the point of the gun, but oh boy. It's still going. We're still doing it. Okay, now we're ready. Uh, one of the things that I will personally recommend, that a lot of, lot of other people will not recommend, is uh, so when you shoot an animal, you get this purple blob of hunting pressure on the map. Uh, hunting pressure serves two purposes. The first is that animals theoretically try and avoid areas of hunting pressure. I've never actually seen an animal actively avoiding an area of hunting pressure, but they're sort of supposed to. Uh, the second thing it does is that if you get... So uh, here I've got one hunting pressure, and here I've got one hunting pressure, and then where these blobs overlap, you see it's an even brighter shade of purple. And that's, that's basically like two levels of hunting pressure there. Uh, you can see I was aiming for the heart, and I just about missed it. But I uh, got the long shot, so it was all good. Um, if you get three layers of hunting pressure on top of one spot, uh, you will generally find that any need zones in the area, so that's what these circles are, you'll generally find that those disappear from the area where you've got the overlap. Uh, I don't like that happening. I like having lots and lots of need zones on my map, so I generally avoid shooting more than two animals in a given area. Uh, there are ways to reduce the hunting pressure that you generate. So if you shoot with a bow and arrow or a crossbow, you generate something like one-fifth of the hunting pressure. And if you shoot from a ground blind or tree stand or tripod, you also generate about one-fifth the hunting pressure. Uh, which is one of the reasons why I love bow hunting, although I don't have a bow on me at the moment. Typically I carry a bow with me everywhere I go. And if I have the luxury of choosing what weapon to use, I will try go try for a close range engagement using a bow and arrow, so that I generate as little hunting pressure as possible. Where am I going? No, I'm aiming for the for this thing. That's up there. I'm on the exact wrong side of the lake. Of course I am. Why wouldn't I be? Uh, depending on what map you're on, depends on what or it affects which terrains and areas are going to be good hunting spots. M most maps you'll find that lakes and rivers are fairly good spots to go for. This is actually the first good lake I've really seen in Hirschfeld, and apart from maybe this one. Uh, most of the rivers in Hirsch are kind of bad hunting spots because the foliage comes right down to the water's edge so there could be a deer standing there having a drink and you would never ever ever know you wouldn't be able to see it uh... hmm. i really wish i hadn't come this way i really wish i'd gone around the other way too late now, though. I just realized I missed a message from Dave Constantine that says, Can you imagine Dizzy finding Bigfoot's footprints? Honestly, that, that sounds like the kind of thing that might be a mission in one of the levels. I wouldn't put it past them to, to have that somewhere in the game. Uh, but then again, someone in the Angler was talking about Bigfoot. So I wonder if it's actually in, in that game instead.
Empty that. I'm wondering what the best way up this mountain actually is. The, uh, the map, although it has contours on it, is not always tremendously helpful for, for route planning. My main question here is do I want to try and go up there, like that sort of valley area, or do I want to do, and this is what I think I'm going to try and do, is go along the top of this ridge. Uh, that might be more traversable. This is a new bit of, of Hirsch to me. I've not been in Jonesdorf at all. And it's really different. It feels really different with the, the, the kind of the mountainy terrain and the lakes to the bits I've seen before. There are more hills and rivers. Hillside won't prove too much of a problem. Oh, we've got a rest zone at the top. Uh. <laughs> My next dizzy hunting top tip is come to recognize the the specific track shapes that mark out uh, the different kind of rest zones. So you have sleep zones, you have drinking zones, which are always near water, you have feeding zones. Uh, and if you see a track, so this track that's sort of um, a bunch of smushed down grass, that's a rest zone track. Uh, unfortunately I'm going to have to make a lot of noise getting up here, so I'll scare off anyone who was resting. Uh, but yeah, that's a rest zone track, and uh, that indicates that an animal sleeps here at a certain point of day, time of day. And if you come back at that time of day, they will be here on sort of a recurring basis. Hello. Oh, cool. Um, no, I need, I need my gun. I need my handgun. Nope. Lost. Well, that was a t total disaster. Stop reloading, please. For the love of God, stop reloading. No, oh, too late. He's long gone. Blast. Blast, 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 blast. Also, have I got bird shot on? No, I've got bullets on. The ammo indicator in the bottom right looks like um, a shotgun shell. Now, unsurprisingly, it's a fox resting zone here uh, that I have scared every single fox away from by taking that wild pot shot. Which is 
annoying. <laughs> but there's not much you can do about it sometimes. Sometimes, particularly me, I have big old fat fingers, so I never hit the buttons that I want. So I'm trying to switch from one weapon to another and I just hit completely the wrong thing. Which is why I, you saw I ended up, I switched briefly to my tablet. Uh, hey ho. That's the other thing about this game. The main thing that I would recommend with this game is take a bit of a a laid back approach. Don't get too invested in any one hunt. If something gets away, then hey, it gets away. It will be back. You will see it again if you come back. You're back, sorry. That's okay. Um, you missed me completely fumbling an encounter with a fox, so it's probably for the best you didn't see that. Uh, oh dear. You're eating. Excellent. Uh, may I ask what you are eating? Oh god, my bloody... My internet's died. Or at least OBS has died. Okay. Uh, everything seems to be back again. Maybe it was just a brief hiccup. Uh, apologies if I've just gone offline for you and just come back. Uh, the internet is our constant foe in all things. Oh, I see the outpost. We are nearly there. Oh, I've actually gone a little high. And... Oh, those trees really stick out of the mist there, don't they? Uh, yeah, I've gone a little high and I don't know how to... Get around to it, because I'm worried that there's like a gully between me and it. So I'm gonna have to sort of precipitously stay along this ridge as high as I can and hope I don't do this, which is sliding down into the gully, and then have to climb on the other side too much. Ugh. Oh no, oh no, oh dear, oh dear. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. If I can get around to there, I think it's not too challenging to get back up. Oops. Nope, nope, we're nearly there. Don't fail me now. Okay, it's fine. We're fine. <laughs> My other main piece of this advice for this game is don't fall asleep while playing it, because it always makes me really, really tired. Uh, it's just sort of vaguely pleasantly sleep inducing. Um, okay, that's where we're going next. The southern part of the Rockwald region is called Jonsdorf, and it's great for hiking. We get a lot of summer tourism up there. Not as much this time of year, but we discourage people from coming during hunting season. I mean, I feel like if you discourage people from hunting season, then there won't be a lot of hunting that happens. But maybe that's just me. Right, well, that was that. Uh, hmm. 
might have to go to the next one actually by path, which I don't normally do. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to climb this mountain um, if I just try and take it as the crow flies. If the terrain is like that, <laughs> then we're going to be a bit stuffed. I'm going to double check that Twitch is still sort of happy with us after that brief little disconnection incident. Um. Yes, okay, Twitch does seem to be up. Um. Oop. Quick look over the edge while we're here, just in case we do a spy one. Some tracks. Whose tracks are these? I apologize for keep tabbing out. I get a bit antsy immediately after I, I have a, a connection problem. And we also have this. Wow, yeah, no, the, going up and over this hill really isn't an option. I can't even get up and over this tiny little bit. Uh, we also have this point of interest. Oh, it's not necessarily a point of interest, it's a map marker. That may or may not be a point of interest, because I think... You know, from, oh, there are the killer information points. I don't know what things are called. Why is anyone listening to me? I don't even know what the difference is between a, a calibre and a... a measurement in millimetres on a gun, and a gauge. Oh, hello. There's a fox right there. It's Yi! Hi there, Yi! This is indeed Hunter Call of the Wild that you see. On account of... Uh, there's a midweek madness sale going on. Big, big lag dizzy? Oh no. It's never what we want. Uh, I'm not sure there's a lot I can do about it. My internet is... particularly bad today. 
for whatever reason. We've already had one mild disconnect fiasco. Uh, my computer is running real, real hot. Boom. Nice, lovely. Every time I get on this... Every time it's... Yeah, it is this game! I don't know what it is about this game. Um... I'll turn the... I'll turn the graphics down, I guess. I think it's such a shame, because this game is such a pretty game. Is there anything else I can turn down to medium? I don't think so. Okay. Is that any better? If I, if I move around a bit so you, you all can actually see. That's a hunting stand, right on the path. This is worse. <laughs> How can that be worse? How can making the game run better be worse? Ah, oh, this game it is going to be the end of me. There's loads of foxes around here, blimey. Um, well, I'll turn it all back up then. There's no point in me having terrible graphics if it's not even helping the lag. Uh, yeah, my poor PC is really struggling um, today. You might even be able to hear the fan, it's that loud. Uh, I have closed down all non-essential programs, apart from Firefox, which I have open to monitor Twitch, but I can close down Firefox as well. There we go. Right, I'm now literally running only the things that I need to stream. OBS, Hunter, uh, my little VTuber, PNGTuber, and uh, my chat monitoring app. <laughs> and I can't even look at OBS to see, because I know that when I open OBS the quality gets even worse. Lag's gone! Okay, well maybe it was Firefox. It was, uh... Oh, I'm very lost. Where am I supposed to be going? There's a path around here somewhere, apparently. To my right? To my right. Maybe it was Firefox that was chewing up all of my... Perfect no lag at all. That's never been true. Okay. Uh... Hmm. That might be a, a, a food for thought for future Hunter streams. Blimey, can you call this a path? <laughs> I'll check the VOD later. Um, I know we're about 47 minutes in, because uh, it is about 47 minutes past 12. So I, I, I'll, I can remember roughly what the timestamp is, and I'll check it out later. I wonder if, if I open OBS now, is it still going to lag out? Like, is the problem just having Firefox open? <coughs> I actually can't get OBS to appear on screen. Uh, how's that? No, that's still laggy. That's still laggy. Okay. Uh, we have a first time chat from Yamaha. He says, I'll send you a video of some clown that can't ride a bike if you want. I'm um, good, thanks, Yamaha. For all it's worth, I am also a clown who can't ride a bike, so, uh... Do you mean a literal clown? Things I want to know. Um... Ah, now here's the thing, Yi. You've sent me a link. Um, but I can't open the link without opening Firefox, which will make the game laggy again. Cat's 22 there. 
Yamahal says, yes, a clown named Joe Biden. Ah, I see. Politics. Wonderful. Um, I mean, I can't talk. I come from a country that's just got King Charles III, so I can say nothing about having clowns in charge. Uh, are clowns dressed stupider? Are more, I think, cartoonishly over the top. And the only thing they have going for them is they are slightly less senile than your clowns. Uh, okay, do I think I can get over this hill that's in front of us? Clowns taking over the world's going to pot. I mean, such has been the, the way of the world since the Thatcher Regan era. At least we are used to it. Hello, Rodia. <laughs> it's still the most pathetic squeak. How's the hunting going? Um, we have been lightly successful. Uh, I've been live for just under an hour. We've managed to pop two Rodia and one fox, and we messed up a fox that was about uh Three inches away from our face, and I have fat thumbs. Uh, also, my pronouns ye are they them. Uh, do, 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 come on, my dear. Where are you? I'm going to squeak my squeaker. I'm not going downwind. So I don't have much chance of having them off. I am quite exposed at the moment. Oh, hello. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to be quite that close. Well, that worked out, I guess. Um, yep, yeah, bang, right in the heart. Bet you're sad, no hunting party like the old days, men riding horseback with a pack of dogs. See, I... Uh, like, obviously IRL, like, that kind of fox hunting is absurdly cruel and, and horrible. I don't even understand how people find it a particularly engaging activity, though. Like, it's not like the humans are really engaging in any skill-based challenge in the fox hunt. The dogs do all the work. Like, you know, if you want to go out for a ride on your horse with your dog, sure, I guess. But it's not like you're doing anything. It's one of the other things that, that because, you know, Britain still has a very vocal minority that are pro-fox hunting. Um, it's just like... what none of, none of your hobby makes sense. <laughs> it's a very inefficient way of killing foxes. Also, the foxes you're killing aren't generally actually the, the kind of vermin foxes that I see Yi is talking about in the chat. They're just the wild ones that exist. And then you're not even doing anything as part of this supposed sport that you've made up. But uh, I think... 
more so than other countries, there's like an ingrained culture of performative cruelty in the uh, in specifically the British like aristocracy. Like the fact that it is sort of senselessly abhorrent is kind of part of the point. Um, yeah, these are the people who came up with the 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 famous Bullingdon Club that all of our prime ministers have been members of that like go around burning five pound notes in front of homeless people and stuff. Um, Dizzy Shash, you're playing a hunter game or talking about this. <laughs> I yeah, okay, that's fair. I do have a tendency to uh to go off a bit once I get started. Do I wanna go for that rodeo? I probably do wanna go for that rodeo. Squeak. Come here. Come here. I might have left it too late actually, being indecisive. Out here, most people don't hunt fox anymore, mostly hunt whitetail, deer, and coyotes. Are you in the. I don't actually know when whitetail are, are like native native to, but I'm assuming that means you're, you're US based Yamaha? Uh, also, the Joe Biden joke. Um, Iowa and Native America. Oh, okay. Uh, you will have to forgive me for not knowing exactly which bit Iowa Hello, is. Hello. You. Boop. Boop, stay still please. Uh, that was a single lung. Oh, no it didn't need the follow up. Oh, wow, that was a very dramatic death. Wow. You got up on the rock, posed for a little bit, and then keeled over. Stunning. Get this deer and Oscar. Posthumously. Uh, what have we got? Single lung, brown, female. Otherwise uninteresting. Marvellous. Uh, that's not true, I don't suck at every game. Probably. Maybe. There must be one game I don't suck at. I don't suck at Pokemon Coliseum. <laughs> I've never streamed Pokemon Coliseum, but I don't suck at it. Ooh, hello. Really? More Rodia? You're not put off by me blasting all of your friends with revolvers? Okay. Do you insist? Um, I have a Central America next to the Mississippi. Ah, okay, now I do know which bit the Mississippi is. Um, on account of my knowledge of America... My, knowledge, my political knowledge of America in terms of, like, distribution of states, etc. Real bad. My knowledge of geology and hydrology of America? Still not amazing, but like, a lot better. <laughs> oh, my poor D&D party that I play with. Oh god. I accidentally gave them, like, a very small geology lecture. Because we got talking about the, the river systems of Ravenloft. And I just went off on one <laughs> about, like, alluvial fans and braided rivers. And it was, it was a disaster. They all went to sleep. Uh, and I don't know where the steer is. There we are. Oh my 
God, you got further than I expected. Um, Oh, I've got an achievement. Row Warrior. What does that do? So what does that do? What's it for? Harvest 50 Row Deer. Okay, fair enough. God, have I only harvested 50 Row Deer? That seems so few. Uh, see, now I've gone halfway around this hill. I don't know what the best way to my destination is. I am curious, Yamaha, because I, I I knew all of those apart from Russia. Oh, did Yamaha drop a follow? I'm sorry, my OBS did not. Let me know. Uh, yes, thank you very much for the follow. Um, Russia took over California. Really? Wow, I had no idea. I suppose they sort of came from like the Alaska side and down? Well, that is particularly unfortunate. Um, <laughs> you know, being genocided by the English, the Spanish, the French, there was kind of quite a lot of it going about. But to, to, to be genocided by them and Russia? That is, that is particularly bad luck. Um, these little foxy prints. Do I think these little foxy pinks are going to lead to an actual fox? Oh, what prints are you? You're a red deer? Okay. Well, like that one, in fact. There's a road deer over there. Uh, or a red deer here. Uh, that's tricky decision making. We'll go for the deer we can see over the deer we can hear, I should think. Um, unless this red deer female happens to be. Did I actually call for it? I can't remember. Yes, I think I did. Uh, uh, ammo, please. Can I have the... Certainly be the one. Right, that's a female red deer. That's a female red deer. We have a male red deer. I think the answer is no. It's okay. I'll be happy enough with you. Wait, is that male? No, those, those are both females. That's fine. Do I know what potash is? Yes! Um, potash is a component of gunpowder originally uh, for its high potassium content, possibly potassium nitrate content, I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm trying to remember how you got it. You got it, I mean, you got it from burning stuff, but I can't remember exactly what it was that you burnt to get it. Um, 
Oh, hello, there's still one over there. Trees, you get it from burning trees. Okay. This is a math class. Burning gunpowder is not a math class. It's a chemistry class, maybe. Uh, it's not a math class. Uh, what is maybe a math class is me wondering if that gunshot will have been far enough away to not spook the rodeo that I saw. Which would be nice. Oh, hello. Or possibly I can take you if you stay still. Uh, no, I can stay still. You are going to stay still, but only once you're out of sight. Oh, of course. Oh, there's another one. You, I'm sorry, you're mine. What's this? This looked smaller. This might have been another rodeo? Yeah, there was a red deer. Okay. Right, that definitely will have scared off that road here. Oh my gosh, there's another one of you. You want to stay still? No, you don't want to stay still. To be fair, I probably wouldn't stay still either. Uh, well, we have more or less accidentally come across the path. So, uh... Oh, that, uh, maybe I shouldn't have been aiming quite that low, but I did get a heart shot, so it was okay in the end. Uh, this is cute though, this little... Set of cabins. There's a hiking village. They have loads of hiking villages in uh, Leighton. They're sort of all over the place. Uh, Yi says, Wanna hear the dumbest thing ever in Hunter? Yes, I do want to hear the dumbest thing ever in Hunter. And I'm going to ask you, is it more dumb than the YouTube videos that are going around of people hunting bison with little .22 handguns. Because that's pretty dumb. Uh, he says, when you whistle, animals get spooked up to 300 meters. That's a pretty long spook range. That's longer than I expected. Hello. Oh, hello! Uh-oh. Let's not fall off this hill. I may... Oh no, I don't think I did smush the red dairy eating zone in the end. That's nice. Right. Uh-oh, uh-oh, don't get it! Ow! Blast it. Please don't do that. That hurts quite a lot. <laughs> uh, mail, silver. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. <laughs> Please don't kill me. I know I've killed like three of you in the last ten minutes. Oh god, there's more! <laughs> That's a huge herd of red deer, or possibly they're all going around in circles to like confuse me. One of the two. Um, I could definitely pick some off over that ridge. They're a bit close, they might smush this feed zone if I do, so I won't. Uh... I mean, to some extent, I, it shouldn't surprise me that there's a decent range on the whistle spooking animals, considering that the whistling mechanic is like, it only exists to spook animals. What time is it? 6.43. It's about time for me to switch over to night mode. Uh, which is a little bit of a shame. Oh, I'm also going to not succeed at getting up the slope if I'm not careful. <sighs> yeah, let's put on my night vision binoculars. go. We now see the world in green.
Uh, how's the stream quality? Is it is it still lag free? Fingers crossed. Touch wood. Four K. Amazing. It's almost like being a professional. <laughs> I wonder what those lights are. I suppose they're probably street lights. Uh, do I want to take a detour towards this lake? Let's take a detour towards the lake. See if anybody's around there. Come down for an evening drink. Actually, do I know what time people drink? Mm, you guys drink until 5 and 5.30. Uh, you drink until 2 o'clock. So, until 5 o'clock. You drink until 2 o'clock, 5 o'clock. I guess you guys... Uh, maybe because there's not any big predators here, you guys all seem to drink at kind of the middle of the day. Rather than the end of the day. It's probably right now, you can't see. <laughs> uh, this lake is almost directly below us. Uh, so I'm worried there's going to be like a hell of a drop. We'll then have to get up the... Oh no, the lake's just on our level. That's fine, that's much easier. I should actually have had a look around the camping village to see if there are any... hiking village to see if there are any collectibles. But I didn't do that. So I'm a fool. Uh, there's no one here. There is a little hut over there that I want to go have a look at. So we'll do that. And I'll reset my indicator for the lookout point which is over there. Mission success, travel to Bondorf. New mission, harvest the fox. What's the bedding we get this done today? I mean, by sheer coincidence, we've arrived at Bondorf just as night has fallen. Which is when all foxy loxies are going to be more active. Oops. Do you mind not getting stuck on things? That would be really helpful. Nope, okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna slip down and, and slide slowly and gracelessly into the lake, are we? Hmm. Now in English we have lots and lots of different words for like small variations on lake, typically like different kinds of mountain lake and stuff. So I, as an Englishman, would call this a tarn, um, being a, a, a highland small lake. Uh, I wonder if mm, it may or may not. Um, I can't remember if it's a tarn or a tor, possibly. They like specifically have like a bit of a lip that then leads down into the valley below because of how they form. 
summing, summing glaciers, ice, gouging pools, etc. Um, I was just wondering if German language has similar uh, fine-grained pernickety distinctions between different types of small mountain lake. Uh, and if they do, I wonder what this kind of lake is. There's not that many lakes in Berndorf. Oh, we've got tracks. Tracks is good. Uh, the tracks seem to be going back the way I've come though, and I did not see a maker of tracks. It suggests that maker of tracks is not currently still nearby. Are radio tracks, they're not fox tracks, aren't they? It's a shame. But hey, I suppose at least it means that someone comes here. Uh, Yi is just playing Ro yeah, Roblox. <laughs> Yi is playing Roblox, and Dizzy is swallowing their tongue while trying to say the word Roblox. Is this any better if I turn off my torch? No, it's not. I don't have any night vision to speak of. Uh, I like and find it curious, Hang on, if I back up a bit, how the uh, the purple of the tracks kind of glints and reflects off the water, even though it's not like a, it's not real. Uh, that amuses me. Right, this will be the drinking zone. Fleischer's Cabin. I'm hoping Fleischer is a name, not a job description. Because as a job description, I don't know what a Fleischer exactly would do, but it sounds... I mean, you know, it's obviously related to Flesher. And I don't want to know what a Flesher does. Drinking zone, and then the cabin. Is this where I die? I go up to the Fleischer's cabin and he, like, flays me alive. <laughs> oh, we've got uh, some grass that can't decide if it exists or not. That's always good. Loving that avalanche. Keep making high quality games. Oh my goodness, uh, playing the angler. Obviously, I've encountered a bunch of bugs, which I've documented on stream mostly. Um, went to report some of them on the... It's called I can't get in. That's probably for the best. The, the Fleischer does at least not seem to be hurting. Oh, they've got like deer and bison pattern curtains. That's kind of cute. Um, yeah, the, the went to the discords to report some of the bugs. And the bug report channel is... It, it is absolutely full. The list is significantly longer than my limbs, uh, all of them put together. And it does just sort of make you think, you know, how does a game reach launch in such a shoddy state? And given that it reached launch in such a shoddy state, and given that actually the hunter is frequently in a buggy, unplayable state as well, why do I keep giving them money? And they, the answer is maybe I shouldn't. Anyway, the Midweek Madness sale for Hunter Call of the Wild is still on. Uh, 
if like me you aren't as discerning as you should be with your purchases. Uh, awkward. It's only 100 meters away, but it's a pretty grueling 100 meters to, to cross. Uh, especially if I get stuck in holes. Uh, we might have to scare him this bit. <laughs> a little. Well, we might not. I can get up here. Anyone down in the valley? Anyone looking to be a hunted? No, no one is looking to be a hunted today. Oh, 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 oh no. This hilltop was not as, as pleasing as I thought it was. Point. We'll put it back once we've unlocked um, the tower and spot an outpost. Did this tower reveal an outpost to us? It did not. I suppose it would have revealed that one, which we already had. Oh no. I've fallen down. Okay, we're gonna have to scare in this. But they have like. 500 hours in Skyrim. I'm good at climbing rocks. Good to do. Might not be quite as many as 500. Well, this is a nice little view along the path. Anyone there? No? No one? Is this a completely empty hillside? It's a completely empty hillside. That's a shame. And then the classic Hirschdorf. Hirschdorf? Hirschfelden. Uh, unpretentious lookout point. And the classic European style of just being kind of like, hey, there's like a bit here that's kind of pretty. <laughs> Let's put up a small sign and mark it on the OS maps. Probably not called OS maps if it's Germany. I assume Germany has its own equivalent of OS. O umlaut S. Uh, is there anything down here that we can see without going too far down? Wow, night time is real boring. It's a shame that we're specifically after a fox, otherwise I would consider finding an outpost and sending us back to daytime, but uh, this is going to be the foxy hour, if ever there was one. Ah, yes. Is the best region for red deer. You'll often find them congregating in Bondorf Canyon. Oh, you've got a canyon up here as well, blimey. It's, it's canyons all the way down. I suppose this is Burned Off Canyon? That's what the uh, the contour lines are telling me. Right, we do have uh, an outpost all the way over here. And I suspect it's probably all the way downhill to there. Now, do we reckon this is an, a region of the map? Or is this just, like, off the edge of the map?
I don't know. Let's head that way. Uh, will it be easy to get from there? It will be easy to get from there to the canyon if I want to. Let's actually go via this so we pick it up on the way down rather than having to head back uphill. Uh, and we'll keep our eyes and our night vision goggles peeled. Oh my god, the grasses are really unhappy. Uh, we'll keep our eyes and our night vision goggles peeled for our fox. Uh, do I want to be on the ridge? I probably want to be on the ridge so I can see down both sides. Uh, I am also going to say right off the bat, if I see a fox and it's far away and I don't think I'm going to be able to sneak up on it to handgun range. What is handgun range? Like 50 meters. Yeah, if I don't think I'm going to be able to sneak up on it to handgun range, because the quest is just hunt a fox or harvest a fox, I will. You will probably see me blast at it with the cap lock, even though it's not the right class for it. Because I know from experience hunting coyote that these small class two predators are way more annoying than they're worth. Uh, so if I see an opportunity, I'll take it, even if it means not passing the harvest check. The only caveat to that is if it's a diamond. Uh, oh, I'm stuck in a hole. Great, I love being stuck in holes. I don't... It's my favourite pastime. It's not... Oh god, someone's about to soar outside. Hang on a second. while I just mute <laughs> so that any sawing is uh, as unregistered on the mic as possible. Uh, we had a horrible rainy day yesterday so there was no like power tooling but it means that all of the power tooling now has to be done today. Well the people who were hoping to do power tooling yesterday It's out of render distance, there's no point in me looking down there. I wouldn't be able to see it even if it was. Oop. My OBS is very unhappy, it absolutely refuses to be. Uh, foregrounded at the moment. Oh, well, possibly it's actually that the hunter refuses to be backgrounded. I'm not sure which. Hmm. Uh, Isa is still playing the role. Is Roblox the one they did like an expose of about how it was like exploiting child labor and stuff to make maps? Oh, 
Come on, where's all the animals? Come here, I want to shoot you. I guess I could be sort of like randomly blowing off my callers every so often if I wanted to. To see if I got a response. <laughs> In the quiet of night, the hunter is revealed only by the faintest of squeaks. Um, it's raining. Why well, it is starting or stopping raining? You know what I need? I need? I need a biscuit. I should have brought a biscuit up with me. Normally I do. Normally I have one so that if I get hungry on stream I can nibble on one. Uh, possibly during a one minute silence for the Queen. Um, uh, I didn't bring any today and I'm regretting it. It was a bad decision. What can I say? I'm British. Although the truly British thing to do would be to dunk them in tea, which I don't do because tea is a vile, foul, disgusting drink. Uh, that was definitely not worth fighting the number of wars over that we have fought over it. Uh, Thing in the fog either. Um, I think if we spot an owl tonight, it's going to be more by luck than judgment. Oh, an animal call. A, a hog call. Oh, yeah. Come here, little piggy. Yeah, piggy, 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 piggy. Ouch. Uh, what ammo do I have on? I've got the minable one. That's fantastic news. Yeah, piggy, 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 piggy. Oh, there you are. Oh no, that's a bison! Okay, well, it's not a piggy. But, uh, we'll, we'll give him a go as well. We haven't hit a bison yet today, we haven't even seen one before yet today. Do -do -do. What are you? You're a male level 3. That's a big piggy. That's a very big piggy. Um, uh,. There's a whole bunch of you. That's a level four. That's the one we'd like to take if we get a choice. Oh hell, there's the, there's the piggy. He's now wandering in amongst the bison. What we don't want. Uh, we 
got an effective range of about 75 meters on our king. So we don't want to get. We don't want to be any further away than that, I guess. Uh, what's our actual vision like? Pretty bad. No, that's not true. Non existent. In fact. Uh, what the. Oh, I missed it. Okay. Oh, Gul'dak. Could have spooked them all. Oh, I definitely could have spooked them all down. Right, we are gonna fire. And then we are not gonna be able to take a follow up shot. Ow! Oh, okay, I fell. That's not the best news in the world. I did take the follow-up shot, and I think I hit in a moderately good location. Oh, there's a, a bison feed zone. He did go down. So a little tip for... Um, haircut if they're still around. Uh, once you've shot an animal, you can tell if it's died because the hunting pressure appears only where they die and it appears it centered on the spot where you first hit them with any kind of weapon. So it doesn't have to be where you first hit them with the killing blow, it's just the first the first place you hit them. Uh, fantastic. So that's a Hunting stand, which is interesting because it suggests there might be good pastures in this direction, in that direction. That's a warning call for our Pigu. I doubt I can convince him to come back. But I'll give him a squeal just in case. Right, where do we reckon you went? You went this way. Okay. Now I'm actually a little bit lucky because normally. When you uh, blast a bison, all of, oh, there's the body. All of the bison friends come out to say hi and try and smush you. But uh, this time, all of his friends just sort of run off. Uh, are these also resting bison things, or is somebody else resting here as well? There's a lot of them, which sound, sounds like bison. Oh, hello. Pigu. I can't, can't see if you're behind something. You're not behind something. Amazing. Oh, wow, okay, my first shot was actually too far forward, which is a, 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 a surprises me, but luckily my follow-up shot, this is why you take follow-up shots sometimes, follow-up shot was was perfectly placed. Normally I only take a follow-up shot if I'm not confident about the first shot, and I was confident about the first shot, so I wouldn't normally have taken one. Well, okay, that's gone rather well. We are only a few hundred meters out from the outpost as well. I've got a warning call from a bison over that way. Uh, this is a. Uh... Gosh, that's got a, a power stance that old Pigo was in. It's an otherwise unexceptional pig. Bison have gone more or less the same way as the outpost. Oh, they might be coming back. How far am I away? I don't want to shoot them because I'll 
smash the rest zone, unfortunately. So you'll get a pass. I'll spook you. There you go. I don't know if the whistling prevents them from becoming aggressive or not. I've never had them become aggressive when I spook them by whistling. Whereas obviously they do become aggressive if you spook them other ways sometimes. So it might be random luck. Uh, <clears throat> or it might be that the whistling is more likely to make them flee. Once we get out to sort of here-ish, we start seeing bison there, then we can take shots at them again. I just want to... Where are you? Come back. I just want to make sure they're well clear of this sleep zone. I'm fleeing, it said. Not very well, I would suggest. Okay, he's nearly there, actually. If we can still see him once we get over this hill, I'll probably take a shot, although he will probably have left by then. If he's got any brains about him, which, admittedly, being a bison, he probably doesn't. Right, okay. They're all back here. That's definitely far enough away. Can your, can your friend get out of the way, please? Can the tree get out of the way, please? Quickly. Quickly now. Oh, no. Well, the spot has faded. Nope, I don't want that. I want this. Yeah, okay, I know. I know. I need to not be front on. Oh, they're running away now. Cacaroons. I really wanted to take that one specific bison, but then he was, uh. He was looking at me head on, and I wasn't. I didn't want to take the other ones because I was worried they were too close. But it's really difficult to actually kill them once they're head on, because uh, if you shoot them in the face, it messes up the trophy. Where are you? You're probably far enough away. If I can get a shot. God, yeah, we know. Oh, they do the, They look at you and they do the horrible head tilt thing, which I hate. Run away, please. Uh oh. Okay. Right, you went down, and we successfully did not smush the rest zone, which is important. Oh my god, that shot went right through him. Yeah, the king is a, is a fun weapon to use, but it's a bit scary sometimes. Uh, where are we headed? We're headed this way. Oh, there's a fox. I want the fox, I want the fox for my quest. Come here, Foxy. He was quite far away and he did let out a warning call and he is downwind of me. All of these things mean that the chances of us getting this fox are probably nothing. However, I'm still gonna give it a go. There's something there, I think. Could just be. Maybe not. I don't know some things. There is a rest zone here. I'm lucky that'll be a fox rest zone. I can come back to you. Oh, oh, there you are. Fox. No, that's a roe deer! What a bloody fox are you? Uh, 
I like that I think I am such a fox fox. That's a bison. There's lots of bison around. Uh, oh, there's a male behind me. Shit. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Double check with their foxy before I scam away. Definitely no foxy now. Right, his rest zone is this. The red deer rest zone. Boom, right in the heart. There's bison. There was something there, that's another bison. Uh, they are running away now, which is the smart thing to do. But, how are they going to run away fast enough? What's that? That's a pro deal warning call. I'm not interested in that. There's a fox. There's a fox, but it won't let me spot him. Ah, and I won't be able to see him without spotting him. So, uh, okay, right. I'm just gonna take the shot. No, he was behind something. God damn it! God damn it! I don't know what he was behind, but he was behind something. This year? No, that's another road here. <sighs> Blast. Blast, 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 and buckets. I can't see anything that looks like fox tracks either. Maybe that little poop? That could be road here though. This is definitely right here. Um, they're very fresh apparently. So the rodeo was here recently. Oh, damn it. That might have been fox tracks that I saw that way. I wish there's not a fox over that way. I'll blow for him just on the off chance. In case he's still close enough to here. Not right now, Bison. I have bigger things to deal with. Are these little foxy paw prints? They are. There's a little foxy. Fantastic. Uh, I'm going to try with my handgun, even though it's a bit far. Oh, I might have got him. I might have got him. I got it him! Oh, and he was just inside the boundary of Bondorf as well. And the handgun is actually an appropriate weapon for him. Oh, that was a further shot than I realised. Wow, okay. Oh yeah, I am absolutely the most proest of the pros. Oh yeah. Right, hello Foxy. Confirm trophy. Lovely shot! Could have been a little more forward, but it hit where it needed to. Uh, he was difficulty 5. Amazing. Uh, Yi says, phase dizzy, and I don't understand what they mean by that. 
Um, let's have a look out and see if anyone else is nearby. There are astonishingly still some bison down this way. Phase is a clan that does crazy cod nose clip clips. Ah, I see. As I'm not, I'm not up on on the old cod stuff, so uh, that that did definitely have to be explained to me. Uh, unfortunately, I did use a scope. Um, although in this game, the handguns are not particularly easy to use with or without a scope. Like, well, okay, that's not true. They're impossible to use without a scope. They are. Extremely difficult to use with a reflex sight, and they are okay to use with a scope. Um, where did the bisons go? Yeah, oh, that's another foxy mating call. I should actually check what my new mission is. Uh, Travel to Schoenfeld straw fields, harvest the fox down from at least 100 meters away. Hmm, 100 meter fox, eh? That's gonna be tough. Also, I'm very worried that these bison are actually just gonna be in range of that bloody rest zone. Okay. I thought you said this was to spook animals from 100 meters, from 300 meters away. Um. Right, you, bison. Alert, alarmed. Can I get a flea? Defensive is not great. Fleeing is what we want. There we go. Yeah, you head off that way. I know I'm not heading to the outpost, but there's animals to hunt. Uh, we will come to the outpost in due course. We will definitely head to the outpost before we, like, move away from this area. Uh... Where's that guy? You'll probably still get close. Away. Where did all the others go? I think they went off in this direction. But they have uh, quite successfully vanished from my sight. Which I was perhaps not quite anticipating. Okay, that's got to be far enough away. Sadly, you aren't one of the big ones. God, let me spot it. That was really close. Kind of tempted to go for the fox, actually. Given the choice between a not very big bison and a fox, I might go for the fox. It's a harder hunt. But that just means better footage, right? He sounded close. It would be nice to know that that one fox hunt that I did wasn't a fluke. There's foxy footprints. Dear. Oh my god, there's everything here. No, I won't let me spot you. And 
now I've turned my attention away from the fox. Oh, this has just been a disaster. I should have just shot the bison. Shouldn't have been greedy. Oh my god, he's right there. Right, I'm gonna go for a back shot, which is not the best shot to take, but... No. See, that was a mess. Oh my god, hello. Can I please change weapon? <laughs> okay. So you can't change weapon during that particularly long reload animation. It's good to know. Good to know. I did get him, though. Um... The old Rodia. Oh my... Yeah, okay, my mark is still on that. Got him, but he might have gone quite far. Uh, but I feel like this isn't something I've shown off in, in Call of the Wild for, for a while. It's just the real long distance tracking. He's got a bleed rate of medium, so I might have hit something. He did say no organs hit, though. What was that body? That's a body there, yeah. You yeah, are getting further and further away from this outpost. <laughs> you have to turn around. And then I'm gonna have. After I turn around, I'm gonna have to go back through all of the hunting trash that I've just made. That I don't want to shoot anything on. Because I'm... neurotic. <laughs> oh, I did get him in the spine. Okay, I hit him more or less exactly where I was intending to hit him. It's just he actually was able to run further than I expected from that shot. That's okay. I, I could have gone for the back of the neck like here-ish, and if you're shooting from above, going from the back of the net, there's quite a lot you can hit, but because I was sort of, as you can see, like on that kind of a level, there's not that much neck to hit. Uh, is it worth me actually sneaking? I think at least until I get to here, there's not much point in sneaking, because even if I see an animal, I won't want to shoot it. So we can just run this bit. I mean, plus, also, any animals that are here are real stupid animals, <laughs> considering all of the gunshots that have been going off throughout the night. Oh goodness, the sawing has started up. I'm sorry if you can hear that. Oh, I think I can see the outpost. Right. Let's pop it. Oh my gold. There you are. Um, can I lure you any closer? You're a level 8. I can lure you any closer. There's me gun. Can I zero you for... I can zero you for 75 meters. Okay. It's further away than you like to shoot, but... Oh, cack, I've lost him in the fog. Where he is. Don't know where he is. He obviously knows where I am. Nope, he's running. He's running. Oh. Uh. 
The, the, the real hardest difficulties, like difficulty level 8 and stuff, they are so tough. I think I got him. Like, I, I think I hit him. Because he flinched. And given that he is just a fox, if I got him, he's unlikely to have lived. But he hasn't gone down yet. I'm looking for a blood splat. Uh, oh, he did go down. Okay. Oh my god, look at how much hunting pressure there is here. The good thing about that is it's going to clear up the hunting pressure that I left on the way here. But oh my gosh, look at this mess. That was a tough shot. I'm actually quite pleased with myself for making that. Confirm trophy. Oh. Well, I say I'm, I'm pleased with myself. <laughs> I uh, obviously didn't account for bullet drop quite enough, because I only hit him in the leg. Uh, but he did go down nonetheless. That's the only saving... It's now thundering. I love the thunder and lightning. Uh, if any of you do not love... Oh, that's interesting. So this is a handgun, but I got a shotgun score reward for shooting that fox. Curious. Um, he would have been a gold if I'd uh, if I passed the hunting check, but I did not, which is a shame. I don't think rank eights can be diamonds for foxes, uh, but don't quote me on that. So I knew I wasn't likely to like mess him up. Ah. Uh, if he if I if he had been a diamond, I don't know exactly what I would have done, but uh, I definitely wouldn't have risked messing him up. Like that, like that was yeah, that was a tricky shot, and I wanted to try it out to see if I could do it. But it wouldn't have been worth destroying a diamond for. Um, I had a thought. Oh yeah, it's weird that this handgun gives me shotgun score. End of thought. <laughs> uh, well, our next mission is also for... Oh, hang on. In the field, you can't get too close to a fox, so I'll see you. Yep. I mean, that is true everywhere. Uh, Schoenfeld Strawberry Fields are down there. I will try and get to them tonight, because I mean, while it's still 10 o'clock in the game, I might as well go around hunting foxes, right? Uh, I don't think I know any need zones for foxes. No, I don't. So it'd be nice to see some fallow deer again. Uh, oh, the wind is blowing due east. Are you kidding me? Due east? That's exactly the way I wanted to go. Where's the next nearest... Oh my god, it's miles and miles away. Um... Okay. New plan. We'll go here. We'll grab... We're gonna mess with our kit very slightly. Uh, we're going to grab some more bullets as well for the guns that we've been firing. I think we've actually fired all three of our guns, although we've not used the shot pellet. What the hell is the... what's over here? This is a big outpost. Right, uh, rifle, ammo. Nope, not using this one. Hang on, ammo. Didn't need to do that, but it worked out okay. We haven't used that yet. Rifle ammo, I also need the 470 
switch these terrifying looking red things. Um, it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go into cacti, I'm gonna grab a backpack. You don't want to have a backpack on when you're hunting, but uh, for this it can kind of be fine. I'm gonna go into storage, see if I have any tents. I think all my tents might be put up at the moment. Yes. Although, oh my god, I've got loads of blinds and stands from the DLC I've just bought. Uh, I need to buy more tents. Tents, 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 tents. Let's grab an elite tent. Pop that on us. There's the garage. Summon a quad bike. Uh, right, then I need to go into OBS for a sec and turn down the volume for you guys because this is the loudest thing in the world. Ow. <laughs> And I am a particularly bad driver today, it seems. Right, where are we going next? We are following the road until we get to... Let's say here. I think the night time is also the best time for driving because, uh, you know, like it's less of an issue if you spook animals while you're, while you're driving. Because, uh, you know, like the chances that you were going to otherwise see those animals was is a lot less. Oh my god, hello. No, I want to sprint! I want to sprint, you stupid thing! Oh my god, I've got no ammo in this. I could probably have shot that pig if I'd... Please, 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 please! Let me aim. Oh, you bastard. Nope, nothing. I could have given it a try, but uh. I doubt I would have ended in success. I doubt they will have stopped running just for that call. Ugh. What a faff. I've had my rifle ready. I wouldn't have got the first one, definitely, but I might have got the second. Any chance they've stopped? Someone's coming. Nope. Went behind a tree at just the opportune moment. Done. Some people do hunt like that in this game. They just like ride the quaddy, normally up to like bison and stuff in open fields, but also like any animal in the hunger, because the hunger is so open. They just ride the quad bike. Until they see an animal, they just hop off and it's like blam, 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 blasting away. It's certainly an approach. Oh, I think it's time we get back on the bike. I do not think there will be more pigs forthcoming.
Well, we gave it a go, at least. And we did reload our gun, which is important because of how long it takes. Oh, I've forgotten just how much better the quad bike feels than the car in the Angler. Honestly, the, 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 they are incomparable. One is just so much better than the other. Uh, interesting, this is a feed zone for someone. This is a fallow deer feed zone. Okay. Centered over there. Uh, I can turn the volume up for you. Did I just see a... I can turn the volume back up for you guys. Get a sec. Bloop, bloop, bloop. You should be able to now hear properly. Uh, I actually need to put this on the button so I can see. Uh... So we pop it down. I flop it down just kind of in this tree line, and then we'll actually have sight over this feeding zone if I then put something like a ground blind down nearby, which might be worthwhile. Uh, assuming that we can find a spot for it, which is not always given. Pop! Tent! Uh, ground lines, no storage. Ground lines. That on four. Now. Clash of the Arrows, where exactly do I want this? So we've got to be somewhere that I can see enough of the feed zone in range while still hopefully not being too exposed. I think we're going to put it right here so I can sneak down through the tree line to here. Pop, right. Then we're going to do a real pro game tactic. So R, putting those down and riding the quad bike will have spooked everything in a thousand mile radius. So what we're going to do is we're going to fast travel over here so all of them unload. And then we're going to fast travel back. Uh, I'm actually going to grab another tent and put it in my inventory just in case this one dies. Uh, we're going to fast travel back once they've all reset themselves. What colour shall I make this one? Uh, sure, we'll have white, even though it's very scary. Because when you when you fast travel does spook everything in about a 200 mile radius, 200 meter radius, which is why I didn't want it like in the Schoenfeld straw fields. Just next to it is, is fine. So I'll put that in the way. Character. Take off a backpack, except. God, we're not carrying very much actually weight wise. Normally I'm carrying a lot more than this. Uh, 
We've got a particularly light weapon selection today, I guess. I think it's because we've got the handgun on instead of anything else. I could actually bring a bow and arrow if I wanted to. I could fit one. Right, okay, having done that... Well, the animals should now no longer be scared by the quad bike. All I have to do is get to the straw fields and then uh, find a fox. Render distance is about 450-ish meters, I think. So, uh... Can't see what's in the fields themselves just yet. Uh... Try to show if it's rough, it's not gonna tell me until I am there. There's any special requirements on this fox that I hunt. Hoping there won't be. If there is, it'll probably just be past the harvest check. Mm -hmm. uh, what time is it? It's quarter past two. We've still got three quarters of an hour left for the stream today. Roads clear. The good thing about the straw fields is they're likely to be pretty open. The bad thing about the straw fields is they're likely to be pretty open. Uh, also, depending on how the on how strawy the straw is, I'm not sure if it's gonna be easy to spot a fox in amongst the fields or not. Because it might be uh it might be that they're short enough they can just hide in the foliage. Oh, oh, oh that's the that's the fallow deer feed zone. Don't get excited by that, Dizzy. You know what that is? You touched it already. Now what I foolishly haven't done is bring a bow, because then I'd be able to shoot things that weren't foxes with much less spook to any foxes that might be nearby. Um, oh wow, that grass is really really upset, isn't it? Like really upset. The mark of a quality game when even your basic grass textures don't work. <laughs> uh, now it's possible that we're not going to be lucky at all, and there won't be any foxes here. How big is the Shenfeld straw field? It's pretty big. My in instinct is to head down here and pick this up first. It's the first port of call. Um, because I like having all the collectibles checked off of the map, if nothing else. Um, Okay, Schoenfeld straw fields. We got any complications? Harvest Fox down from at least 100 meters away. Cack. I've not brought the right equipment for this. Cack. Uh, it 
it's not that difficult for me to go back. Okay, I guess we're changing up our loadout. Uh, I'm going to briefly fire up Firefox again. Uh, which will possibly lag out the stream, but it, I, I need to do it a little bit because I want to check out what. Uh, You're really not happy today, are you? Okay, I I physically can't get. <laughs> I physically can't get the hunter to background. Um, which is annoying. Uh, Fine, I've managed to move my Firefox over to another window. Uh, okay, so the new packs that I got, what targets tier 2 out of view? So I'm using the cat block, uh, the M1 in Waniac, that's 4 to 8, so that's not really helpful to me. Uh, the Miller is a shotgun, that's not going to be helpful to me. I also bought the Grelk drilling gun. Which is a terrible name, by the way. Uh, it has shotgun shells, which will take number two, but its rifle shells are five to nine. Uh, I also have the Solokine MN 1890. That's three to seven, that's not helpful. And I've got the revolver, which I have. Uh, okay, so we are gonna need to fix our kit using. Let me just close Firefox down. We're going to need to fix our kit involving some guns that aren't new to us, so that's okay. We'll bring out the good old 243, uh, which does sadly mean getting rid of you. Possibly this one's getting rid of you. I might take out the M1. Uh, hey there, how long are we going to be live for now? Uh, probably another 40 ish minutes. Uh, and then let's grab the M1. Might watch me while you play Minecraft. Uh, as always, I'll be happy to have you here. What the hell is this? Coolman point two two H Wasp. Point two two H Polytip Bullets. Classes one to two. I've never met this gun before. I didn't know I had this gun. I don't know where I got this gun from. One of the smallest center fire ammunition in existence. Oh, okay. Also, is compatible with the night vision rifle scope, which I might grab. Okay, I'll grab this then. Uh, let's buy a bunch of bullets for it. This is the answer to all of my problems, potentially. Uh, blink. Wasp. Hornet or yellow jacket colour. Let's have wasp colour. Okay. You've never seen that gun? Uh, I have no idea where I got it from. Uh, the other thing that I bought recently was Rancho del Arroyo. And sometimes the, the things, the uh, new maps come with weapons. So I guess there's an outside chance it's from that. Uh, storage. Okay. Right, we're immediately taking you off again for the Coleman Wasp. We don't need the King Bullets, we don't need the Old Bullets. We're grabbing the Pointy to H Polytip. Right, so that's got us covered from 1 to 2. Uh, we want something to cover us from 3 upwards, ideally. Who covers us from 3 upwards? Someone did. 
we just had. I've immediately forgotten that. Um, Actually, the the, the old-timey rifle would cover us from three upwards quite nicely, wouldn't it? Um, okay, we'll get the old old-timey rifle back on. I'm actually kind of enjoying the catwalk, even though it is really stupid. Uh, and I could even actually fit the king as well. That's how much space I had in my in my inventory. I, we're actually going to go with the exact same way that we had, just adding in another rifle. Um, there we go. Unfortunately, we'll have reset all our stuff. Uh, Yi says, want to know a really easy glitch? Go ahead. I'm not likely to use it, but uh, sure. You get unlimited storage space. How does one get unlimited storage space? Uh, we'll keep this, the night vision scope for now. Annoyingly, I don't have enough space for both that and the Hyperion, which is my scope of choice. Um, the only item you want to put in your storage. Okay, let's say the, the Hyperion. You don't need to open the that's fine. Spam till I'm out of menu. Spam what till I'm out of menu? Like that? No, it hasn't worked. It's fine, I'll do without. I'll do without. Um, I'll. I'll uh, do, 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 do. Yes, but fast, I see. Okay, well, we'll come back to it. Right, that, I guess the wasp is going on four, because I have nothing else to put it on. Dupe. No, you want to show me. Okay, okay, well, we'll give it one more go. Um, storage. Hyperion, and then spam exit. Poznaka says you'll have a perk down the road that could be three more pounds. I don't think I'm likely to, because I've got uh, pretty much all of my skill points and perks already. I think I've only got like one or two skill points and perk points left. Uh... I mean, I might already have it, I'm not sure. It'll be a skill, okay. So, skills, 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 skills. Locate tracks, track knowledge, rains, hardened, weather, soft feet, connect dots, triangulation, device blind, endurance, stark and call, wind prediction, disturbed vegetation. I don't have that list. Scent tinkerer, spotting, dazed. Monetary ward, full damage, lures, sight spotting, better spotting, pack. I see, there we go. I don't think I'm going to get enough skill points to get up this. Um, do the glitch way better? I, I think I'm doing it up to the limits of my ability and it doesn't seem to be working, uh, but that's fine. You know me, I'm not that fussed by many things.
Might be a rifle scope for the wasp. Reflex sight for the king. There we go. Okay, everything's back set up. We've only wasted a lot of time. Um, but it's fine. Our kit will be pre-fixed for the next stream. Am I slow as hell? Yeah, maybe I am. Maybe I am slow as hell. Got old person's fingers. My APM is about three. Uh, That piece of this piece of messing around grass is the same bit of messing around grass that was was having a panic before. Like, I wonder if it's a consistent object in the world or a consistent texture that is the one that is the being very upset texture. Gosh, if I saw that in real life, I would be very upset. <laughs> It does feel like being haunted. Um, what actually is the range on this new gun that I picked up? I didn't check. <laughs> it's going to be really awkward if it's not like 100 meters. 150 meters, that's fine, that's perfect. Um, that's exactly what we want. And actually, Given that it's quite light at 2.5 kilos, or 2.5 weight units, uh, I might end up keeping it around in my loadout a bit more often. Because all, all I've really wanted for a long time is like a virant but also hits class 2. Oh, we've got a road here. Yeah? Although I'm normally looking for foxes, I'm not gonna not hunt anything else just to try and avoid scaring foxes. Like, foxes can get wrecked if that's the case. <laughs> but if I see a fox, I'll take it. Um, obviously. Squeak. I hate the sound of my own footsteps in this game. It always makes me think there's something like alongside me. Right, someone's coming. Where are you? There you are. Can I please spot you? For a second I was worried I hadn't hit a vital organ. I was about to be very offended. Um, boom, one down. Hmm. 
A female. I wonder if it's an, a glitch that I get shotgun score for using that gun even when I'm not using the shotgun pellets in that gun. I mean, I don't mind because I. I'm confident that shotgun is the thing I have the least weapon score with. Because I hardly ever use them. Okay, Shan Fence Shotfields, we've, we've achieved them again. We're now heading off this way to try and find that little marker. Will we get it in 25 minutes we have left on stream? Maybe. It's a firm maybe. I do kind of wonder, actually, now that I've been considering my perks again. Um, one of my perks is like range find. It's this one. I don't need this perk um, at all now because I've got the range. A, I never have it on because I've got the change zeroing active skill or active perk on, so I never use it. And B, I've got the rangefinder goggles, so it's not like I'd ever need to use it, because it's a lot easier to use these and, and get a continuous readout on distance. Warning, when you get above 50 you can't get any more perks. Yeah, I know, it's one of the most annoying things about the game, is that there's, like, a cap on when you start receiving, stop receiving perk points that isn't all of them. Uh, No, no, that's a, a bollard. So uh, I'm, I might reset this. So I don't think I need that either. I don't need this. I don't need that. That's good, at least. Um, on the other hand, though, is there anything I do with those two perk points? That's interesting. I didn't get that at the time because I was like, oh, I never use a rifle with a hol with a red dot or holographic sight. But I do now because I use the king. So that might suddenly become a bit more worthwhile. Hmm. Right, who's this? Who's this leaving mess all over my straw fields? That's a fox. Uh... I'm a little worried by the positioning of that fox, because that fox is currently not in the straw fields, I think. I think he's far enough away that he doesn't count. So I have to get. I have to get more than 100 meters away from the edge. So I have to shoot him from over 100 meters away. And I have to be able to see him. <laughs> um, it is going to be a tall order. I think. Well, okay, I say tall order. It's not going to happen. But I'm going to do my best to make it happen. The 
cause is almost self-defeating for this mission. Well, look, there's Canada the Geese having a little nap. Just so tempted to go and shoot them. Just so tempted to go and shoot them. Let's go shoot some Canada Geese. Let's also stop by this feed zone that I discovered. Where, where, where those geese? Ge geese? Why are you not showing up on my map? Oh wait, you are. You're just all the way over there. Oh well, you're the opposite direction to where I was going. Okay. It's Foxy, 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 Foxy. No, 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 no. Come back, Foxy. Please, Foxy. Please. I know I said I was going to go shoot the Canada geese and not you, but I will shoot you if you come, I promise. I don't know where he's gone, I've lost him. Must be bearings. Is that a fox? That is a fox. the fox to come out of the brush so I can spot it. Oh, cack. Where are you? Where are you? Mm. This is daft! This is daft! There he is. Oh, he's a little close. I need you to stay right there. Oh no, I'm going over a hill. Oh, that's really not good. Oh, hell. Where can I get to that's more than 100 meters away from there? I need to get out into the open. Where are you, fox? That's where he was. Uh, no running away, please. I promise every time I call, he gets closer in. I'm gonna have to, to get him over this, this ridge. Oh. I do not think this plan is going to work. But it will be very fun if it does. Foxy, where are you? I saw movement in the undergrowth. There, I think. <sighs> this is so difficult. This is particularly stupid. <laughs> Me just like backing away from a fox. Trying to get over a hundred meters away while having a clear shot at it. Foxy. Foxy, Foxy. Where are you? Okay, I'm gonna have to call. At least if I call now, he'll be coming towards an area that's right in the open. But, I mean, he could have he could have run away, and I'd never know. I'm just gonna be backing across an open field forever. Where's them geese? 
just checking around to make sure there weren't any other foxes. Oh, that's my quad bike. Foxes? Any foxes? Okay. I feel comfortable that I'm far enough away now. I think, however, he has skedaddled, unfortunately. That's annoying. I, thought, I really thought I was going to get it there. That's extra annoying because I know those geese are around over there. They are eminently reachable. But if I shoot them, that is. Definitely all chance of that fox gone. So, do I think he's coming? No, I do not. I do not think he's coming. I'm going to hit my hooter one more time, see if I get response from him. He's left. Bother. What a frustrating encounter. How much time have we got? We've got about 13 ish minutes left. Any sign of that fox at all? Okay. Right, well, oh, 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 what's that? Oh, it's just another goose. I want to get in this tree here. Keep an eye out. Keep an eye out on the off chance. Realise that the geese have all vanished. They all fly away. No, they're fine, they're just there. Right, what range is that? About 100 meters. That's pretty perfect. Oh, there's a fallow deer over there as well, somewhere. I'm not going to get him. Double check. Foxy Loxy last call for foxies? Nope. Guards. Damn you little kind. Blast. Okay, well. Yes, it shall be then. Oh, there's a fallow deer. Do you want the geese or the fallow deer? Uh, I want the, the geese. Uh, right. I've never used this scope before. Doesn't look terribly challenging. Oh, blimey. It's got quite a... It's got quite a, uh... Time between the first shot and the follow-up shot. A lot longer than the Virant. That's okay. Right. Where, the, where the hell was that geese? Where did it go? I shot him. Where did he go? Hello? Goose? Am I, have I gone mad? Have I gone mad and lost my goose? I 
I also actually should have checked all those geese to see which was the best goose. Decided not to do that. On account of I'm the fool. My goose. <laughs> Where are you? Where's the goose got? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Where's the goose? I shot a goose! <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> I can't even see blood! From where I shot the goose. <laughs> Where's the bloody goose? Uh, hello? That's poop. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Right, it might be a little further up this way? Uh... Uh... Hmm. I think my goose may have glitched. <laughs> That's the fellow, dear. Uh Huh. Um well, I'm a little upset about that, actually. Uh Hello goose? Any goose? Any gooses? I wonder if it's fallen through the world. That used to be an old, old, old bug with, with Call of the Wild. The animals would fall through the world. <laughs> well, okay, turns out the goose was a waste of time then. Wasn't it? Crikey. That's really annoying. That's really spoiled my day. Um. Wow. Uh, on that on that goose shell, I guess it's probably a good time for us to uh, call it a day there. <laughs> with with a very disappointed dizzy. Uh, if you've enjoyed watching, uh, please do consider dropping a follow. I want to say a big thank you to uh, the people who have already done so this stream. Uh, which I believe includes both uh, Yamaha and Haircut. Uh, so thank you both, thank you very much to both of, of the two of you. Uh, if you're watching this later on YouTube, uh, please do drop a like and maybe even consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. Uh, and you can also follow me on Twitter, at DizForDemise, no underscore on Twitter, uh, where I send out a tweet every time I go live, so you never have to miss one of these in future. Uh, I stream Hunter Call of the Wild, I stream uh, some Yu-Gi-Oh at the moment, I stream the Ang Call of the Wild the Angler, not the Angler Call of the Wild, because he needs naming consistency. Uh, and occasionally I stream some other things. Uh, tomorrow is going to be either an early stream at 11am British, or a short stream that goes from midday till 2 British. I'm finishing at 2 either way, but I might start early to compensate. Uh, that's because I, I have a, a thing on that starts from two. Um, I will hope to see all of you lovely lovely humans there. Uh, my name once again has been Dizzy, this has been The Hunter, uh, and I hope to see you all next time. Ta-ra!